Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys the brandless Murloc experience. It's one of the most interesting things for me because over time Battlegrounds gets faster and faster and it makes normal brand filled Murloc builds uh, that much harder to pull off. Uh, most of the time you see Murlocs, it's people transitioning into them through a bunch of different shenanigans. It's not so much making it all the way with Murlocs. And when you don't have Bran and you're trying to make it work from the ground up, Murlocs is a tough business. And I want to show you guys just how lucky you need to get to make it happen without Bran. Hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you guys next time. Galacron has the highest rate of eight of all heroes in the game while sporting a championship level worst rate of first of any hero in the game. Which is really surprising because I thought you could at least high roll the crap out of Galakrond. Apparently that's not even true anymore. Galakrond's horrible. He's much worse than any other hero. Arana is second worse. And actually it's a pretty big gap between the next. And then it's Flurgle, Tess, Lich King, Illidan, Mukla. Wow, Ysera's down here. I've actually been doing pretty well with Ysera myself. Bigglesworth is pretty close to most of the heroes I mentioned. But she's like the... Or he's like the... I don't know, 12th or 15th worst. Just mo most heroes are really bad compared to the good ones. You already know that. I mean... But yeah, it's numbers in front of me. I thought I'd say it. Fine. Would Galakron be okay if it costs zero? Well, he wouldn't be the best hero in the game, so yeah, it would be okay, I guess. Echo Zemzrak is a good hero. Because on average, he uh, ice blocks himself into top four. Doesn't feel good to play him, though. Doesn't feel good to play him at all, actually. I've got some fresh recruits for you. buffed it very little for Arana. Yeah. I think Arana is on paper pretty strong, but the the best way to play Battlegrounds is to just never roll. They just like play stats. Tasty stats. Play stats, don't roll. Happen to get cannon, and if you do, you win the game. Happen to get spawn, and if you do, win the cannon, win the game. But if you roll, lose the game. I don't really want to force Murlocs right now. If Maev gets lucky, she can push to 6. We can maybe go Murlocs then. Pushing Murlocs in the early games, I don't think is worth it. It's time for new heroes in the battleground. I don't think we need new heroes. Just need, like, some fixes. Binding Lady Vash with Galakrond. Sounds pretty sweet. Oh. Okay. I actually should have got the cannon first. Wrong one. Well, I didn't want the buff on the spawn, but I would like to. Destroy everyone instead of losing. So yeah, that was that was the wrong one. I'm just giving you my reasoning for my for my bad play. It was bad. I feel bad. Don't worry. I feel bad. It, like, I either give him a spawn or give him a triple. Jesus. 
This round I'll probably lose, but that's okay. Yeah, the old Tyrion wouldn't be that strong, but old Tyrion's boring as shit, so I don't really care to see him. Actually, I probably would care to see him. I think Tyrion, even though he'd be boring as shit, he'd still be pretty good, and I think he would, uh... He would slow down the game to a point where I'd be happier. Alright, Doggo. Dex woke up and decided to bark at random shit. These stats are top 50% or top 1%? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think for hero win rates, it's set to top 20%. There. Yeah, top 20%. I think top 20% is a very good estimate of how things actually are. He's probably rolling his eyes right now, justifiably so. Your minions really pulled their weight. Hey, a triple. Here's your reward. I love catching some waves. It's Rafam again. Okay. Oh, you would have liked uh, Goldrin there? I don't have a made build, and I have some Murlocs, and I'm really strong, and I'm on 5 with lots of health. So, at this point, risk-reward, how likely is it that I get a beast build going versus Murloc build going? And I'm thinking it's about the same. How often do I win with a beast build? Uh, you know, pretty often. How often do I win with a Murloc build? Uh, it's just about guaranteed. So I'm gonna go for the guaranteed win if I hit it. The reasoning. I have a frozen tide hunter. Your minions okay. really pulled their More than one murloc now. Easy. Many murlocs now. Right. Uh, it wouldn't improve my power level that much. So we're gonna wait another turn. Maybe we get a brand. Yes, I'm the Murloc Whisperer. They just come to me. Exactly. Here we go. The dopamine starts to kick in. Murlocs! Yeah, I know, dude. All right. Not okay. Oh, that was good. All right, fine. Yeah, ten's not too bad. Any defeat that doesn't destroy you makes you strong. I have to sell so much shit to actually play that. I might as well level. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Ok. 
Okay. I think it's good enough to not lose. Uh, this is turn 9, remember. Um, it's good enough to not lose. And I think with that in mind, uh, we can hold out for a more explosive turn, being on 20 health. And I sell the 5-3 pirate. Well, it does 7 damage. Uh, better than that card, honestly. And it does 2 pings. And pings are nice. Good gamble. Curators just went to five. Oh, okay. Alright, that's now, good. Let's see if we can get a brand. Brand. Like you can get a okay. Now, uh, let's sell the shit that's not a murloc. Yeah, I, I really want the extra battle cry is a thing. So let's actually run these. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Okay. The odds are in my favor. Oh, that was dumb. Yeah, that was actually dumb. I can still go for a brand, like one more roll. No, alright, I'm dunking it. Terrible. Looks like you can get a triple. I'm gonna burn a gold here. I should probably do the gurgle first. That probably won't die. Yeah, whatever. Now and then. Look at the health of everyone. I'm in first place. This is after ten turns. You did have a brand? Oh, did I just sell the dragon? No, I have another dragon now. That was not good. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Everyone's gunning for what? you. Watch out. Oh, the big taunt does a lot here. Okay. Let me 
Just tier power on Caligos. Oh, I don't, want, I don't really want Caligos. Caligos is really hard to use there. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. What the hell? All right. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Gotta sell that now. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. You down a minion and up a goal. This has been a very interesting brandless run. Rip boat. Oh shit. Not rip out. That's a really good one. This has been a crazy fast game and brandless. So I don't know, it's just like really weird game. Yeah, I think the extra health is probably worth it. If I'm going up against the big demons, the Tide Razor is not that valuable. Uh, perfect. That's quite the army you're building, friend. Okay. It's actually a really crazy build. You love the random Calicos. Well, it was a triple offering, and I and I thought I'd get like a brand or something, but no. One thing this build does do is screw over anyone else trying to play Murlocs. <laughs> three of these, three of these, one of those, three of these. <laughs> oh, you're looking for Murlocs, are you? Yeah, that's a nope. This is round 13, by the way. Round 13. Ooh, I might lose this. I might lose this. This is a hard one. Oh, never mind. That's terrible. And if that okay, actually, it's probably pretty easy. Yeah, we're done. This is this has entered zero percent chance to lose territory. No, my plant. Wow, they'd lay off the Malagas. That was actually a really crazy game. Wow, that was a 100? Jesus. I don't realize that was a 100.